For problem 31, we need to evaluate the definite integral from 0 to 6 of the absolute value of x squared minus 6x plus 8 dx. And before we try to evaluate this, let's first get an idea of what this function looks like graphically. And so to do that, let's first factor it. So we can put our two binomials, and we know our first terms are just x, since they multiply to give us x squared. Our last terms multiply to give us positive 8, and they add to give us minus 6. So the only combination that would work would be minus 2 and minus 4. So this function equals 0 when x is 2 and x is 4. So we can draw this and get a better idea of what our function looks like. So what we know about this function is that it equals 0 when x is 2 and 4, so we can graph those points. And we know that the axis of symmetry, since it's a quadratic, is at this x value of 3. So we can plug in 3 into our function and evaluate it. And 3 squared is 9 minus 6 times 3, which is 18, and plus 8 would give us negative 1. So at 3, we have an x value of negative 1. And so that is our vertex. And we can get a picture of this graphically now to look something like that. And if we want to look at the absolute value of this function, essentially any of the region that's negative or has negative y values would have to be reflected to become positive. So our function, our absolute value function, would essentially look like the same function except for this region down here would be reflected up. And then it would continue on the normal function after that negative region. So this integral here is just asking us what is the area underneath the curve of this absolute value function between x values of 0 and 6. So we just need to figure out what is this area. And to do that, we'll essentially need to break up our integral into three separate parts because we have to change it for this part. So we have the first part, the second part is this reflected region, and the third part is this region here. And we have to split it up into three parts because this middle region, since we had to reflect it, we're going to evaluate the integral of the negative of this quadratic. And once we split it up, we'll be able to drop the absolute value bars. So let's rewrite this integral into its three parts. So the first part, we'll have the integral from 0 to 2 of x squared minus 6x plus 8 dx. And the second part here will be this second region here that we had to reflect. So we'll add the integral from 2 to 4. But here we had to reflect the function over the x-axis. So we really want to deal with the negative of that quadratic. So we have x squared minus 6x plus 8 dx. And we can essentially just factor out this negative so that instead of adding this negative integral, we'll be subtracting this positive integral. And this final region, 3, we'll just be able to drop the absolute value bar since this entire region was already positive. So the integral from 4 to 6 of x squared minus 6x plus 8 dx. And so now we just have to evaluate these three integrals, and they're all pretty much the same. So for this first one here, we just get, if we evaluate term by term, we get x cubed over 3 minus 6x squared over 2, or just minus 3x squared plus 8x, all evaluated between 0 and 2. And then we'll subtract. And it'll essentially be the exact same antiderivative, but we'll have different bounds. So we have x cubed over 3 minus 3x squared plus 8x using the bounds from 2 to 4. And then we'll add this final integral here, which will look identical to the first one, but with bounds of 6 and 4. Now, actually plugging in these bounds, when we plug in 0, each of these terms just go away. So we just need to focus when we plug in 2. So plugging in 2 here, we get 8 over 3 minus 3 times 4, which is 12, 
plus 8 times 2, which is 16. And then we'll subtract. And for this evaluation, we need to evaluate both the upper and lower bounds. So plugging in 4, we get 4 cubed over 3. So that's 64 thirds minus 3 times 16, which is 48, plus 8 times 4, which is 32. And then we'll subtract off everything evaluated at 2. So we get 8 over 3 minus 12 plus 16. And then now we just need to do this last evaluation. So we'll get for the upper bound of 6, we'll have 6 cubed, which is 216 over 3. And plugging in a 6 here, we get minus 3 times 36, which is minus 108. And then plus 8 times 6, which is 48. And subtracting off this lower bound of 4, we get 4 cubed, which is 64 over 3, minus 3 times 16, which is 48 and plus 8 times 4, which is 32. And at this point, we just need to simplify all of these numbers. And once you actually simplify everything, what you find is that this sum is equal to 44 over 3. And so that is the final answer. Or in other words, the evaluation of this definite integral is 44 over 3.